really don't want to play it safe my whole life. You know, I, I don't want to... Uh, I think the danger is, uh, is that you start um, patronizing your audience. It's just things happening. And there are clusters of tetrahedrons moving around together. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening in our world right now? It's not our world. None That's of this is key. real? Nope. nope. So you're just passing through? We don't through. matter. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. <laughs> it is the secret symbol of the Luminati. Don't look at them in the eye. It sounds like some actors don't look in Hollywood. Them. Yeah. Like, don't look them in the eye. Yeah, but these ones are, yeah. <laughs> But now I can. Keanu Reeves just sent Hollywood a powerful message. Jim Carrey is off limits. As Jim continues to fearlessly expose the dark truths of the entertainment industry, concerns for his safety are mounting. Whether something is a success or not, um, you, you have to take the chance of, uh, you know, losing a few people because you do gain others. After years of watching Carrey expose the dark secrets of Hollywood's elites, Kinu has issued a chilling warning to those who seek to harm him. What you look like and who you are is getting kind of more complex. But Jim has made it clear that he's fed up with the sinister forces in the industry, and now it seems the pressure on him is reaching dangerous levels. But with Kinu stepping in to protect him, could this be a turning point? Or will Hollywood's powerful elites strike back even harder? Let's find out. But I never make it in the normal ways. You it's don't. It's always the side window or the basement window or something like that. Jim Carrey's journey in Hollywood has been anything but conventional. Over the years, he has bravely called out the hypocrisy, exploitation, and moral decay rampant within the industry. From his candid reflections on mental health struggles to his outspoken criticism of the powerful elites who control Hollywood, Jim has consistently used his platform to shed light on the industry's darker side. He's unflinching in his belief that fame can often come at a terrible price, and he's not afraid to name names. For years now, talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to... <laughs> throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh and stuff like that, make you happy. But as Jim's critiques gained traction, the backlash from the industry intensified. He has faced numerous controversies, including the fallout from his bold declaration that Hollywood is a soulless place, dominated by greed and manipulation. Jim has been candid about how the industry often prioritizes profit over the well-being of its artists, something he knows all too well from his own experiences. From the pressure to conform to the expectations of studio executives to the emotional toll of maintaining a public persona, Jim has seen the industry's dark side up close. It feels like a low level of despair you live in where you're not getting any answers. One of the most shocking moments came when Jim openly criticized the Oscars, stating that the awards show has become a superficial display of self-congratulation rather than a true celebration of artistic achievement. Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. This didn't sit well with many in the industry, who viewed his comments as a direct attack on the very foundations of Hollywood. As a result, he became a target for backlash, leading to whispers of ostracism and even threats aimed at silencing him. That's where Keanu Reeves enters the scene, the beloved star known for his roles in iconic films like The Matrix and John Wick. Keanu has built a reputation not just as a talented actor, but as a genuinely kind and humble individual. When he learned about the dangers Jim was facing for his unyielding stance against the Hollywood machine, Keanu felt compelled to take action. Look at them in the eye. It sounds like some actors don't look in at Hollywood. Them. Yeah. Like, don't look them in the eye. Yeah, but these ones are, yeah. <laughs> but now I can. He immediately issued a warning to the Hollywood elite, demanding they cease their intimidation tactics against Jim and respect his right to speak out. Keanu's message was clear. No one should suffer for telling the truth. He believes that Jim's courage to expose the industry's corruption is a vital act of bravery that should be supported, not punished. Keanu's solidarity with Jim represents a shift in the narrative, an acknowledgement that not all heroes wear capes, and sometimes it takes a friend to stand up against a powerful adversary. The alliance between Keanu and Jim is significant. Both men have faced their own battles with the Hollywood system, albeit in different ways. Keanu, who has also spoken about the mental and emotional toll of fame, knows what it's like to be scrutinized by the public eye. 
He understands the cost of being honest in an industry that often rewards conformity over individuality. We all know how Jim Carrey has never been one to shy away from calling out the hypocrisy of Hollywood's biggest stars. And now, with the backing of Keanu Reeves, Carrey's fight against the industry's dark underbelly has reached a critical point. The catalyst? None other than the infamous Oscars debacle involving Will Smith and Chris Rock. Carey didn't mince words following the shocking incident at the 94th Academy Awards, and his unapologetic stance has only heightened the tension between him and the Hollywood elite. The drama unfolded when, during the live broadcast, Will Smith stormed the stage and slapped Chris Rock after the comedian made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, a sensitive topic given her battle with alopecia. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the out of me. What happened next stunned the world. Rather than being escorted out of the venue, Smith stayed seated and was later awarded the prestigious Best Actor Oscar for his role in King Richard, all while receiving a standing ovation from the audience. But Jim Carrey wasn't having any of it. While promoting Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Carrey sat down with Gail King on CBS and expressed his disgust. He didn't just criticize Will Smith, he called out the entire Hollywood establishment for their reaction. Carrey was appalled that an outburst of violence like that was met with applause, saying he was sickened by the standing ovation Smith received. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. According to Carey, this incident confirmed what he had long suspected about the industry, that Hollywood has become spineless, too willing to overlook bad behavior in favor of preserving its own power structures. Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club. Carey's sharp words didn't stop there. He suggested that Will Smith's rise to the top of Hollywood might be due to more than just talent. He hinted that Smith is being protected by powerful figures within the industry, figures who allow him to act without consequence. For Carey, the fact that Smith wasn't immediately booted from the Oscars after his slap-happy moment was proof that there's a system in place shielding certain stars from accountability. You do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. And then there's Chris Rock, who chose not to press charges against Smith, a decision that sparked endless speculation. When King pointed out that Rock didn't involve the authorities, Carey responded with conviction, suggesting that the comedian simply wanted to avoid the trouble. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have for announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. But was that the whole story? Carey, along with others, speculates that Rock's decision was influenced by the enormous power Will Smith holds in Hollywood, a power that gives him the ability to walk away from even the most public of scandals with little more than a slap on the face. For many, Rock's restraint was a testament to the sway Smith held behind the scenes, leaving people wondering if more sinister forces were at play. This explosive take from Carey didn't go unnoticed. It solidified his reputation as one of Hollywood's few outspoken critics, unafraid to confront the industry's most protected figures. But with this level of blunt honesty comes danger. Carey's willingness to expose the corruption and protectiveness within Hollywood has made him a target, and it's clear that the powers that be are not happy. And now, Keanu Reeves, another Hollywood outsider known for his integrity and humility, has stepped up to protect his friend. Reeves has issued a stark warning to Hollywood, no more intimidation, no more threats against Carrie for speaking the truth. Reeves knows what's at stake and he's not about to let Carrie go down alone. Rumor has it there's a secret blacklist going around, an under-the-radar attempt to push aside a star whose honesty and values are shaking things up in Tinseltown. You have a great right. reputation, right. by the way, in, in Hollywood, of being a very nice guy. Despite his spotless reputation and undeniable charm on screen, it seems like some powerful forces are out to see Keanu Reeves fail. But why? What does Keanu have that's got Hollywood's elite so spooked? For over 30 years, his career has been nothing short of legendary. He's brought iconic characters to life and earned the love of audiences and fellow actors alike. The Matrix changed my life, and then over these years, um, it's changed so many other people's lives. But now, rumors are swirling that Kinu's been blacklisted. According to Joe Rogan, the outspoken podcaster known for his no-filter takes, 
Hollywood might be cutting ties with Reeves due to his increasingly controversial image. This sudden twist has everyone talking as fans and critics try to figure out why the industry would turn on a star who's been known for his humility, generosity, and almost universal appeal. With Kinu backing him, Jim Carrey's fight to reveal the truth about Hollywood is reaching a fever pitch. Carrey's criticisms don't just stop with Will Smith. He's called out the entire industry, from the Oscar organizers who allowed the slap to slide, to the unseen puppet masters who pull the strings behind the scenes. Not only Kinu, but it seems like Joe also has been trying to give Jim a heads up about all the shady stuff that allegedly happened behind the curtain in Hollywood, especially when he talked about the pressure actors face just to stay in the game. I think that that pre the pressure of that gig mm -hmm. is just so crazy. And maybe it's the same pressure Jim also had to deal with during his prime time in the industry. But why? Over the last few years, Jim has been increasingly vocal about the sketchy things he's witnessed in the entertainment industry. And let's be real, he's been in the game long enough to know what goes down behind those closed doors. But every time he tries to speak out, it seems like Hollywood is ready to shut him down. Is it because Jim knows something bigger that they don't want the public to hear about? I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. Jim isn't exactly a stranger to controversy, but in recent years, it seems like the industry is specifically trying to silence him. We've seen the interviews. He's been hinting at the deeper issues in Hollywood for a while now. He's called it a machine that chews people up and spits them out. He's talked about the fake smiles, the hidden agendas, and the creepy underbelly of fame. But for every statement he makes, the backlash is immediate. Talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to throw you off the track. And that's what Joe said during his podcast. He emphasized how Hollywood actors often feel compelled to shape their personalities to align with the expectations of those who hold the power to grant them roles in movies. He said, in Hollywood, the problem is that you're chosen for everything. So you're being cast in these things. You have to deal with people that approve you or pick you. So you're formulating your personality based on whatever the zeitgeist is, whatever the ideology of most of the producers are. But why? What is Jim saying that's hitting so close to home for the industry? It's almost as if they're afraid he's going to expose something even bigger than what's already been revealed. However, Hollywood has never been short on scandals. Just think of the Harvey Weinstein fallout. But when someone like Jim Carrey, who's been part of the elite for decades, starts speaking out, it's time to sit up and pay attention. I don't exist. So uh, they're all characters that I played, including Jim Carrey, including Joel Barish, including any of those things, they're all characters. Right now, cancel culture is running wild in Hollywood. We've seen countless celebrities taken down, either for speaking their minds or getting tangled in controversy. And Jim Carrey? He's dangerously close to becoming one of those targets. He's been targeted before, but recently it feels like Hollywood has him squarely in its crosshairs. The media has labeled him crazy, he's been mocked relentlessly, and major projects have mysteriously slipped through his fingers. Why? Simple, he's refusing to play by Hollywood's rules anymore. Even Martin Freeman, who worked with Jim, had less than flattering things to say about him. Sure, genuinely sure, Jim Carrey is a lovely and smart person, but it was the most self-aggrandizing, selfish, fucking narcissistic bollocks I've ever seen. Freeman never got into the specifics, but it was clear Carrey rubbed him the wrong way. And Freeman's not alone. Remember Tommy Lee Jones? After working together on Batman Forever, Jones openly admitted that he couldn't stand Jim. Carey himself told that story to the late Norm MacDonald, revealing that Jones once told him, I hate you, I really don't like you, and further added, And he got up and he went, mm, ah, 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 like this, and he went like to hug me and yeah. he said, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like you. It's hard to imagine that kind of drama brewing behind the scenes, especially since Tommy Lee Jones seemed to hold his own against Jim Carrey's wild energy on screen. But Jones is just one of many actors who've had issues with Jim. The truth is, Carrey's larger-than-life personality and ability to steal the spotlight have rubbed plenty of people the wrong way in Hollywood. In anything he does, it's nearly impossible to outshine Jim Carrey in a scene, and that's bound to frustrate some actors, especially those who've been in the spotlight their entire careers. 
Jim's larger-than-life presence can easily overshadow others, which might explain why some co-stars like Tommy Lee Jones couldn't handle his energy. Incidents like these could very well have contributed to Jim's decision to step back from Hollywood later in his career. After all, when you're constantly at odds with your peers, it's easy to see why you might start distancing yourself from the industry. I could have done several sequels sure. with several characters, right. but I felt like that, you know, life is too short, I want to move on, I want to create, I want to, like, annoy people that are, you know, businessmen that <laughs> want to take advantage of me. But is this just another case of cancel culture at work? Or is something deeper happening? Jim Carrey may have hit a nerve with the people in power, and it seems like they're working hard to discredit him. He's alluded to this in past interviews, where he's exposed the entertainment industry for what it really is, a place built on manipulation, lies, and the exploitation of talent. Jim hasn't been afraid to call out the superficiality of Hollywood, pointing out how celebrities are often used to push certain agendas. And the moment you stop playing along with the game, you're discarded just like that. What's even more concerning is how Jim's retreat from Hollywood seems to have taken a toll on him personally. Friends and fans have noticed a dramatic change. This was the guy who lit up every room, the guy who made people laugh for years, the life of the party. But now, he's apparently holed up, living in self-isolation, barely a shadow of the man we once knew. Ever since he stepped back in 2022 to focus on his art, he's been out of the public eye, and people are worried. Is it just the toll of fame, or is there something bigger going on behind the scenes? And depression is your body saying, fuck you, I don't want to be this character anymore. I don't want to hold up this, this avatar that you've created. We've seen this kind of thing before. Celebrities who get too close to the truth suddenly become reclusive, their careers fade, and they just disappear. Look at Dave Chappelle, for instance. Dave Chappelle has seen the good and the ugly side of Hollywood, and he has a few stories to tell about what really goes on behind the scenes. One thing is for sure, Hollywood isn't as sparkling and glamorous as it appears from afar, and if there's anyone who always knew it, it was Dave. He knew all the money in the world wouldn't be enough compensation for what the Hollywood big bosses do to you. It was right. so much money, how could you do that, and blah, 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 but you know, if I had taken that money and finished the show, I would have got the money, but I might never have been the same. Dave knew that his audience were smart people who understood the intricacies of race and bigotry, but Comedy Central had other plans. They didn't want to upset the bigots or the racists, but Dave could not accept this. This went against everything he believed in as an artist and performer. Chappelle spoke about this lack of freedom of speech in an interview and said, Art is a powerful commodity. An artist, if you're good at it, should never behave as a commodity. My biggest gripe with this whole controversy with The Closer is that you cannot report on an artist's work and remove artistic nuance from his words. It would be like if you were reading a newspaper and they say, man shot in the face by a six-foot rabbit expected to survive, and they never tell you it's a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Comedy Central not only limited his freedom of speech, they even ripped him off. The network refused to pay him the money he was owed. People think I made a lot of money for Chappelle's show. When I left that show, I never got paid. They didn't have to pay me because I signed the contract. When Comedy Central offered Dave $50 million for a third season, he refused. Even after Dave refused the offer, Comedy Central wouldn't just let this pass. In fact, they came after him and tried to destroy his reputation. He talked about this many years later in his comedy special. If you quit a show like Chappelle's show, I don't know if you know what happens to you professionally, but I'll tell you what doesn't happen. They don't just say, well, good luck in your future endeavors. With that media, they beat me up. With their power, they tried to make me behave. It takes a strong person to stand out in the cold like that. When Dave realized that Comedy Central had done more harm to him than even Fox Network had, he was heartbroken but not hopeless. So he came to his community to ask for help. I said, I'm going to my real boss and I came to you because I know where my power lies. So he had to walk away and go off the grid and later came back talking about how the entertainment industry can be a toxic, manipulative place. Could Jim be going through something similar? Could he be paying the price for speaking out? Let's be real, Hollywood is an industry that thrives on image, and anyone who messes with that image gets pushed out. Jim Carrey isn't just your average actor, but now it feels like Hollywood is doing everything it can to make us forget about him, 
Why? Because he's talking about things that nobody in the industry wants to talk about. So it's not hard to imagine that Jim Carrey's outspokenness has cost him just like Chappelle. After all, how many other celebrities have been brave enough to say what he's said? He's mentioned before that he's tired of the fake smiles, the backstabbing, and the manipulation that comes with Hollywood fame. But by saying these things, it feels like he's been punished. He hasn't been canceled in the traditional sense, no major scandals or public disgrace. But instead, he's been pushed out, almost like Hollywood is erasing him from the narrative. You know what they're trying to do? Who? This thing is buzzing. Hold on. They're trying to turn us into, you know, uh, you know, consumer drones of some sort. And it's not just his career. If the rumors about his self-isolation are true, it seems like even his mental health has taken a hit. Jim has opened up about his own experiences with depression and how those experiences have changed over the years. Describing himself as sometimes happy, the actor-comedian told me, at this point, I don't have depression. There is not an experience of depression. I had that for years, but now, when the rain comes, it rains. But it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay long enough to immerse me and drown me anymore. Though he did not directly reference the matter, he reflected more generally on his life experiences, stating, What's happening is really good, but there is some really bad in there too. Some people have come at me in the last couple of years with the intent of breaking off a piece of the Holy Grail for themselves, but the Grail isn't a thing that you can break off. I'm perfectly fine with everything that has happened, even the horrible sh tea you know, in life and in art. There is a lot of satisfaction about looking back at those things. So, just like a flick of a switch, Jim wasn't in the spotlight anymore. Sure, he stepped away to focus on his art, but there's something about his exit that feels off. Could it be that Hollywood, or maybe the powers behind Hollywood, wanted him silenced before he exposed too much? Well, fans also want Jim to always tell whatever he sees rather than enduring it, as one of them wrote, It's cool that Jim literally says whatever he wants and doesn't matter what Hollywood does. He is so set and one of the most famous actors of all time. Burning Hollywood on his way out is something I bet a lot of stars wish they could do but can't, as Jim already exposed the treacherous ways of Hollywood treatment with people who have no backing. That's why his resolve to unveil the truth about the entertainment industry is unwavering, and with Kinu by his side, he's ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Together, they are shining a light on the dangers that come with speaking out in a world that often prefers silence. Fans also support both of them and pray that they expose Hollywood elites soon. One of them commented, Jim Carrey is a great actor, comedian. Kinu is one of my favorite actors. I hope God protects Jim and Kinu. I'm happy all the Hollywood crooks are being exposed. Another added, Jim Carrey cracks me up. Kinu virtue is inspiring. I hereby lift any blacklist. There go make more great films. Much heart for Jim, Kinu. The question now is whether Hollywood will listen to this powerful warning. Will the industry finally recognize the importance of supporting its artists rather than silencing them? Or will Jim Carrey's courageous stand against the status quo lead to even more significant controversies? As these two icons prepare for battle, one thing is certain. The truth is a powerful ally. And with Keanu Reeves in Jim's corner, the fight for authenticity in Hollywood has only just begun. The stakes are high, and the world will be watching closely as this story unfolds. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye. Bye.